What's up, Premier Planet? It's Justin Barlow coming at you from inside the Premier Studio in Woodstock, Illinois. As always, a big shout out and a big thank you to everyone who came out to support us this last Saturday. And as always, if you couldn't make it out, we appreciate you being here with us in spirit. If you're one of those who couldn't make it out this last Saturday, let me fill you in on all the excitement you missed. We started the evening with the Premier Academy standout Anakin taking on Inestra, the number one contender for the PPW World Heavyweight Championship. Now, Anakin, in this match, Wow, I mean, an amazing, an amazing exhibition of the skills that he's picked up in the Premier Academy. He came within a hair of giving Inestra an upset victory, but Inestra, as you can see from the footage, he's able to put Anakin on the mat, able to deliver a springboard moonsault, one, two, three. He puts Anakin away, but Anakin, man, I speak for everybody, fantastic effort in the opening contest this last Saturday night. Following that, it was the Science Marcus Smith taking on 0-2, who of course was accompanied to the ring by 0-1. However, in this match, the numbers game actually worked against the zeros, as 0-2 had Marcus in a sleeper hold. 0-1 is on the apron trying to cheer 0-2 on. Marcus kicks 0-1 off the apron and uses that momentum to roll backwards and get 0-2's shoulders on the mat to pick up a pinfall victory despite the numbers game that the zeros, as always, they like to try to employ. Marcus Smith was able to overcome that at PPW 165. Following that, and I'm just the most bitter of rivalries right now in PPW, former best friends, former dirty boys, Chase Gosling and Ronnie Veronica Metro, toe to toe with the number one contendership on the line. And instead of hearing it from me, let's see for yourself. see there the referee, the original referee, getting knocked out, a second referee coming in, a pinning predicament ensues, both wrestlers' shoulders are counted down, but after a short dispute, it's decided that the original referee's decision will stand, therefore your winner and the new number one contender for the PPW world title is Ronnie Veronica Metro. And after that, it was our main event. It seems like Inestra has been going out of his way as of late just to be a chronic thorn in Matt Vine's side, but Matt Vine comes to the ring focused. He's not going to let his record-setting third reign as PPW World Heavyweight Champion be ruined by insults and, and mind games from Inestra. Matt Vine controlled a significant portion of this match, but at the end, well, see for yourself. <laughs>
see there Ronnie Metro comes in, breaks up the pin, chaos ensues, the referee throws the match out, there is no winner, but once the, once the dust had settled and the clouds had cleared, it was announced that because Ronnie Metro is the legitimate number one contender, he will get his chance against Matt Vine for the PPW World Heavyweight Championship this coming Saturday at PPW 166. But since Enestra did not officially lose the main event match, he also will get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. So this Saturday night at PPW 166, we have a triangle match scheduled, and it is going to be intense to say the least. Three-time PPW champion Matt Vine defends against both Ronnie Veronica Metro and Inestra. And also coming up this Saturday night, it's the return of Irish Andy Anderson, and he's going to be taking on the hunk with the tree trunks, Chase Gosling. Also returning to action, it's going to be Sky Blue taking on shredding Connor Core. As always, Premier Planet, thank you all so much for your continued support of PPW. We'll see you folks out here at the Premier Studio in Woodstock, Illinois, this Saturday for PPW 166.